out of a total of 68 bills recommended by the Special Ad Hoc Committee and Constitution Review. Only 45 clauses successfully scaled through at both the Senate and the House of Representatives. While members of the House of Representatives voted in support of the 56 clauses, the Senators voted in support of 47, while the implications of these changes to the polity. And oil prices surged to seven-year highs on Wednesday as supply disruption fears mounted following hefty sanctions on Russian banks amid the intensifying Ukraine conflict, while traders scrambled to seek alternative oil sources in an already tight market, while there are other opportunities for Nigeria and the continent. And like always, we will review the front pages of major dailies this morning. Welcome to the Breakfast in Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. All right, I will begin with some top trended stories and videos uh, that are making you know, topical um, discussions um, amongst Nigerians. And of course, uh, we'll start with um, the president. The president, Mohamed Buhari, is, has left the country for a three-week you know, trip to Nairobi in Kenya. And of course, he will also be going to the U United Kingdom, London, for a medical trip. Now, the president, who doubles as the Minister of Petroleum, left the country to take part in a special session to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the United Nations Environmental Program in Nairobi, Kenya. He will proceed to London, the United Kingdom, for a routine medical checkup as part of the itinerary that is expected to last two weeks. The president already has been knocked for the trip, described as extravagant and not demonstrating the real situation at home. As he travels between the East African country and, of course, the UK, he leaves behind a country dotted while with endless cues and unending blame game over who is responsible for the fuel scarcity in Nigeria. Now, the president supervises the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, which has become the sole importer of the product and other state parastatals are manning critical components of the system. Now, indeed, marketers noted that the situation would prevail until the other traded products are evacuated from the affected stations, adding that the products cannot be blended as insinuated by the NNPC. Now, Nigerians are actually paying through their noses to get uh, fuel. You know, with filling stations, uh, you know, you see long queues across uh, Lagos and other major cities of the country. Some filling stations are actually selling above the approved home price. Many are selling as, um, as much as 200, 300 naira per litre. And um, the black marketers, you know, they're just having a field day with all of this scarcity. You know, they're making opportunities with this and um, they are just smiling to the bank as it were, where Nigerians are groaning. So most people are asking, is it the right time for the person to be traveling to, you know, to Kenya for this particular, you know, visit, the, uh, the 50th anniversary of UNEP? But then again, Nigerians are saying that uh, he should be home to make sure that Nigerians actually get uh, this product, see, since he is the uh, Minister of Petroleum Resources. Then again, uh, there were talks of him leaving without handing over power to the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo. These are some stories that are just trending, and I'm sure uh, you have one or two comments uh, concerning all of that. Another um, topic that is trending in the country is an illegal oil refinery which was raised by fire. It happened somewhere in Awara in Emo State, and um, the owner of this um, said refinery fled when he found that, that, that many houses were affected by the inferno. I'm sure we have um, some couple of videos we will show to you right now. <laughs> Oh, 
Alright, uh, that's um, a video that uh, happened sometime on Monday at our community, precisely uh, close to Ore in Imo State. Uh, lots of um, buildings were actually affected in that inferno. Uh, it brings um, to mind the issue of um, uh, how uh, secure, how safe we are, and um, our firefighting, you know, you know, efficiency in the country. The video, the the fire actually burned for a while before it was actually put out, and lots of people were affected, and them. Um, some people are actually displaced right now, as we speak. The issue right now is that the man who owns this illegal oil refinery has fled. Who gave him approval? I'm sure he didn't get approval. And that refinery has been working in that particular community for a while. And residents are aware of it. And uh, they had not actually raised the alarm before now until that uh, particular incident happened on Monday. It is actually a very, 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 very sad uh, situation. And uh, I'm sure that the lessons to be learned from all of that, we just have to be careful. We just have to know that uh, life is beyond money. We, uh, as much as possible, we should try to do things the right way. And, um, you know, so just show up all of these um, issues that, so that lives and, um, you know, properties are not just affected at the end of the day. All right, we'll take a quick break, and when we return, I'll we'll be taking a look at um, what the papers are saying in a bit.